Okay, so here we are and we're in October and just get ready. Buckle up, buckle up people um, because it's coming in with the energy vibration to do with business and money. So it's like I've said this, I've given, gave the warning, I said September was going to be all about the karma and if you just stop and look at what exactly has happened, what's been disclosed, it's like it's a very, 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 very interesting time. So now that that energy has moved, now we're going to be looking at like the business structure, the financial structure. Uh, we're going to be looking at governments and we've got a lot going on from the 11th. Now, we've got the Pluto um, and the Pluto is actually be go going to be going direct in Capricorn. And you, I've talked to you about this. I've shared this with you that the Pluto over the last 20 years has been about slowly, slowly, slowly eroding everything to do with how business has been done, what's been happening with money, about government. Now, I'm getting a lot of disclosure after the 11th. And the fact that we've got a very, very strong, um, like Mars energy in, in the Scorpio. And here we go, what have we got going over here? Going over ahead. Yep, there goes planes, choppers, <laughs> over ahead as I'm doing October. Classic, absolute classic. And what time is it? Yep, eight o'clock, eight. <laughs> Um, so from the 12th through until the 31st, intense, really, really intense, guys. And that intensity is going to double up with this Pluto uh, that is going direct in that Capricornian energy. Now, we're up until the 12th. Things are working out, trying to keep balance, trying to keep some sort of balance energy going. Um so as I said, it's from the 1st to the 11th and then we've also got that energy just around the whole of the world placing uh, to do with this balance and harmony. But then we get a very strong lot of energy that's also going on here from the 5th to the 21st to do with thinking and to do with ideas. But we've got this huge Leo vibration that comes in and hits and it hits to do with all relationships so relationship between countries people etc now that's going to be very very strong from the first through until the eighth things are going to become a lot more and the word that they keep on giving me here is like um like picky like nitpicking like like trying to get to the bottom of things and that's from the 9th right through until the 31st. With all of the thought processes from the 22nd through until the 31st, it is intense, really, really intense energy. And that's going to double up with a lot of the identity factor from the 24th through until the 31st. So we're getting this really strong Scorpio vibration that comes in starting on the 12th that will go through until the 31st then we get another Scorpio that's coming in from the 22nd through until the 31st and then we get another hit of the Scorpio from the 24th through until the 31st now I'm also seeing things firing up emotionally uh, the dates of the 8th 9th 10th uh, then I'm getting intensity, real intensity, it's intensity. And I'm picking that up around the 16th and the 17th with a lot of heated verbal exchanges around the 18th and the 19th. Determination will abound on the 29th and the 30th. Now we do see here a very strong vibration and a lot of energy in regard to people um, or situations and it's saying I'm laying down the gauntlet and this is to do with creating a whole new cycle in the world because we once again it's talking about the ending of the cycle the way that it's been but it's talking to me about people having to stand up stand up stand your ground start using your voice 
Now, there are things that have been, well, it's been basically said that will be happening in October. Um, so I would be saying to a lot of people, um, use, your, use your mobile phones or your cell phones if you're overseas, minimum amount of time. If you can switch it off during the day, please Excuse me, switch it off because they've got us relying on these mobile phones, right? It's like, and it's like they're attached to our to our hip, you know, the majority of time. Um, and there's something to do with communication, something to do with our communication, um, uh, you know, our our devices. So just be aware of that, right? So I'm going to be like switching mine off. Uh, for as much as I can, uh, especially, and I'm getting around the first, from the first through until like around the 11th, okay? All right, what it is, I don't know, but from the first through, first through until the 11th, things are definitely, definitely, definitely moving, so do not think that things are not moving. Now, I'm going to highly, highly, highly recommend to everyone uh, that are listening to this, if you could please go to Rumble, um, www.rumble.com, and then put in Phil Godlewski, Phil, P-H-I-L, surname Godlewski, G-O-D-L-E-W-S-K-I, and the show, it's got 21, and it was um, on the 19th of September, that that show um, that he actually came up, he's got a lot of documents. Not just I've got this information, I've got this intel. Documents. And the documents are up on the screen. Do yourselves a favor and just sit in front of that screen and around about the first 10 minutes of his shows, he just has music playing, which drives me crazy. Um, so all you have to do is just like full forward it right until you actually see him on the screen and then take it back to when he started to talk you are going to be blown away absolutely absolutely blown away and I know a lot of people have a lot of problems with Phil but I've actually followed Phil for quite a long period of time sometimes you know he gets me um, you know he gets to me um, but other times it's like yep yeah, okay so you've got to overlook some of the stuff that he talks about in regard to himself and about money and houses and everything else that he talks about. Uh, but this intel on that that particular uh, show, phenomenal. Now, I'm also bringing in here uh, war-like like people. People going into some sort of battle is coming up for this month of October. And it's about getting rid of burdens. It's like we've got to burden, we've got to unburden these people. So we've got to get in and we've got to take some action to get this happening. And again, we've had this before, rebirth. So people, you've all got to get in. You've got to do work on yourselves, you know, for God's sake, you know, and people that haven't woken up by now, look, just... You're just going to have to leave them go and you are just going to have to look after yourself and you go through the rebirth. You do whatever it is that you need to do. Your health needs to be your number one priority, um, not spending money on, you know, like going out, you know, clothing or whatever. It's like your health, your health, because the healthier you are over the next few months, the better your journey is going to be. There's going to be a lot of heartache that's going to be coming in. So we need to be aware of that. And we're bringing in this month um, a whole lot of new ways of thinking as we cut, release and let go of a lot that is no longer relevant in our lives. Um, hibernation is showing here. Uh, but when we get that hibernation card like that, it's like it's a choice. It's a choice of something that you are going to choose to do. Yeah. And listen to your gut feelings right? If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. If it feels right, do it. Get rid of your fear because your fear, if you've got that fear, it's like they've got you. There is going to be a lot of upheaval, a lot of upheaval, and it's to do with evil. Um, so evil, anything evil that's been going on on the planet, it's like that's it. we're going to get hit with that. And a lot of people are going to be hit, you know, like, like hit for a sixer 
is the best way that I can describe this um, because they haven't wanted to look at this. But even people who have looked at this, we're now going to the next level, right? The next level of understanding of what's been going on. Uh, there will be sorrow. Definitely, definitely there will be sorrow. But it's to push us to make up our minds in, in regard to what direction do you want to take? Do you want to continue on your life that you've been living? Or are you, like, are you ready to suck it up and make the changes that you know that need to be made? Because we've got here again, it showed up last month, here it is again this month, lies and truths that have been uncovered are going to surface. So there we are, guys, and that's for the month of October, and love you all. Um, those that are wanting to have um, reading sessions with me on my the homepage of my website, tamara.com, you've got the 220, that's for a basic one-hour reading, and if you're wanting anything more, you just click on the Tamara platform member, okay? So over and out and boy oh boy guys boy oh boy we're getting close we're getting very very close love you all bye